the Satsumaki Sepunkyaku, Ryu and Ken's notorious whirlwind kick, the Shoryuken, the powerful anti-air attack move layered as one of the bases of Street Fighter gameplay, and the Hadouken, legendary Chi Blast with the power to outblast any opponent that crosses its path. We will gather the history and information on the creation of these three iconic Street Fighter moves. Are these three moves revolutionary in any form? This and more today. Welcome to the Street Fighterverse. The Shoryuken, translated in English, means Rising Dragon Fist, also known as Dragon Punch, is a special attack in the Street Fighter series. It was initially introduced as one of Ryu's three special attack moves, the other two being the Hadouken and the Tatsumaki known as the Hurricane Kick. The Street Fighter team found inspiration for the Shoryuken attack and other fighting attacks on the 1984 arcade game Karate Champ. Karate Champ is known in Japan as Karate Do, the way of the empty hand. Karate Champ was a game brought by the video games company Technos by Arc System Works, which was the creator of other popular games in the 1980s, such as River City Ransom, Super Dodgeball, and my personal favorite, Double Dragon. Karate Champ was the game that popularized the one-on-one -on -one fighting genre, which is the format most fighting games like Street Fighter use. Karate Do also popularized the best out of three match format, which was later adopted by the Street Fighter franchise. Karate Champ was the blueprint for the Street Fighter franchise, as well as other games, like Mortal Kombat for example. The Shoryuken is executed by moving the joystick forward, down, and then down forward. This movement is commonly referred to as the Shoryuken motion. The Shoryuken attack is a jumping uppercut in which the user spins upwards with a horizontal movement with the purpose of using its power as an anti-air attack, or, if skilled enough, it can be used as a counter-attack as well. The purpose of this attack is mainly to counter air attacks. If the opponent dares to jump towards your position, the Shoryuken would be applied, knocking the opponent to the ground and inflicting great damage. Is that the opponent is usually vulnerable to the attack when falling to the ground. This leaves the opponent open for a second attack or possibly multiple combo moves. If the Shoryuken connects with the opponent while the user is still standing out on the ground, it will inflict more damage. Experienced players will wait until the last possible moment before using the move as counter, even against air attacks. In the Street Fighter 2 series, the Shoryuken is almost completely invincible while rising meaning it can pass through projectile attacks, potentially striking the recipient in the act of throwing them. Ryu and Ken made it almost impossible to counter the Shoryuken. They gave arcade players in the 90s a real hard time. In later games of the Street Fighter series, this incredible air counter ability mode was mostly removed. However, the Shoryuken still has a massive hitbox and will often beat out other attacks. The Shoryuken has different styles and variations used by different Street Fighter characters like Akuma, Sakura, Goken, and others. These different styles of Shoryuken are Go Shoryuken, also known as Great Rising Dragon Fist. This is the original Shoryuken, which is a more powerful variation of the regular Shoryuken, used by Akuma. Shining Circuit Shoryuken Cyber Akuma's enhanced variation of the Goshoryuken. Ultimate Throw, a multi hitting counter Shoryuken embedded with black flames, which burns the opponent. It's used by Akuma in the game X Men Children of the Atom. Shoryuepa, translated to the Rising Dragon Rent Blast, a series of two or three Shoryukens that progressively cause more and more damage to an opponent with each hit. Shinryuken, Divine Dragon Fist, a Shoryuken that corkscrews vertically into the air, causing a vacuum effect that sucks in the opponent and strikes multiple times. Metsu Shoryuken, Perish Rising Dragon Fist, a legendary version of the move seen in the Street Fighter story. When Ryu was near defeat during the first Street Fighter tournament, three different variations are seen in the Street Fighter Alpha 3. Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5, 
which is used by Cage instead of Ryu. Shin Shoryugen, True Rising Dragon Fist, the strongest non-lethal known variant of the Shoryugen, only known and used by Goken and Ryu. Forbidden Shoryugen, Forbidden Hand Rising Dragon Fist, a potentially lethal variant based on Gotetsu's original Ansatsugen. It is used as a last resort technique by Goken. An imperfectly executed Shin Shoryugen, Metsu Shoryugen resembles the Forbidden Shoryugen, but does not have the same killing potential. Shoryugen, Twin Dragon Fist, a powerful pair of Shoryugen made at the same time, which is strong enough to nearly kill an opponent. It was used by Ryu and Ken in the crossover Project X Zone. Mesatsu Goshoryu, Annihilating Great Rising Dragon, a stronger version of the Shoryu Repa. The user delivers two or three Goshoryugens, depending on which punch button is pressed. It's usually used by Akuma. Hado Shoryugen, Surge Rising Dragon Fist, a Shoryugen empowered by Hado energy. The Hado Shoryugen is an attack famously used by Ken in the Street Fighter II animated series. The Shoryuken has also been famous outside the Street Fighter realm. It has been featured as a power move in games. Mega Man X2 features a secret power-up capsule from which X can obtain the Shoryuken. Mega Man X4 features a boss, Magma Dragon, who possesses variations of Ryu and Ken's special techniques, including Shoryuken. In Monster Hunter Generations, with the sword and the shield weapon, a player can use the hunter art called Shoryugeki, or Rising Dragon Attack. When activated, the hunter starts with a forward slice attack and thrusts their shield upward while jumping. The hunter starts with a forward slice attack and thrusts their shield upward while jumping. The description acknowledged the original move by saying in the description that it is indeed a popular fighting move. Fulgore and Jago from Killer Instinct have their own special moves, Plasma Slice and Tiger Fury, which are very similar to the Shoryugen. We can also see more in recent popular games, such as Super Smash Bros, where Mario and Luigi have their own Shoryugen, known as the Super Jump Punch, based on their jumping poses. In Blizzard's Overwatch, a character named Doomfist has a powerful move called Rising Uppercut, which resembles the Shoryuken attack. The Shoryuken is one of the holy trinity of moves in which the Street Fighter franchise is known for, next to the Hadouken and the Hurricane Kick. Its signature style is an inspiration to the fighting game genre, and it will be for many more years to come. In this episode, we have discussed the definition and known history of the Shoryuken the different tactics, styles, and variations of the move, and guest appearances of the Shoryuken in different gaming franchises. The Satsumaki, which translated means tornado, also known as the Hurricane Kick, is one of the three most famous Street Fighter moves in its roster, the other two being the Hadouken and the Shoryuken. It's a special move made famous by Ryu and Ken, and other Street Fighter characters that use the same style such as Sakura, Akuma, and Dan. The origins of the Hurricane Kick can be traced to the 1980s, with an arcade video game called in North America's as the Shanghai Kid. In Japan, the game was titled Hohoka Shorin Hiryu no Ken, which translated means North Faction Shaolin, Fist of the Flying Dragon. This game was the first to introduce the fighting style combo system. The player moves up through a list of enemies in front of an audience. Instead of traditional fighting game mechanics, Shanghai Kids relies on a targeting system for its attacks. At random, throughout the fight, a target appears on the enemy's head, allowing the player to do a quick attack. Sometimes, however, the target appears on the player's head, signaling the timing is right for a block. The game discouraged button mashing by taking away health from a player who presses a button when a target is not on screen. When the word rush appears on the screen, the player could apply a long series of attacks, a precursor to a later combo system in games. The targeting star would stay on the enemy throughout the whole rush, though moved to different body parts. The Shanghai Kid was released in June of 1985, in which the developer of the game was Culture Brain Inc. 
the publisher of the Shanghai Kid game, were Data East, which were the creators of Karate Champ in 1984, and is a huge inspiration for the development of the Street Fighter franchise. The Taito Corporation of Japan, whom are the publishers of a very nostalgic famous game such as Space Invaders, Arkanoid, and my personal favorite, Puzzle Bubble. This game introduction to the Hurricane Kick predates the first Street Fighter game and has evolved since then. In the first Street Fighter, the Satsumaki were used by Ryu and Ken. The user of the Satsumaki Senpa Kuyaku jumps while in the air, rotates its leg, kicking the opponent repeatedly one or three times, depending on the controller button that is pressed. The Hurricane Kick is mostly performed by moving the joystick or a D-pad, a quarter circle backwards the opponent from the down position and then pressing the kick button to execute the maneuver, which in some games goes high enough to dodge different kind of projectiles, such as Guile Sonic Boom, Soul Spark, Yoga Fire, and surprisingly, the Hadouken. In the Street Fighter II Championship Edition, Ryu's Hurricane Kick, even though it was very flashy with its spinning move, it struck the opponent only once, harshly, while Ken's had more hits and was more open to mix up combos with. Both of their evil versions use it as well in their games. In the Street Fighter 4 series, the Hurricane Kick was very effective at armor breaking. Armor breaking grants the ability to absorb a single attack without being hurt or even being stunned. The Hurricane Kick can also become an X special move. In short, it's a powered up version of a special attack, usually signified by the character in question flashing yellow. The Tatsumaki Sepankiaku has different styles and variations used by different Street Fighter characters, like for example, Akuma, Sakura, Goken, Dan, and Sean. These different styles of hurricane kicks are Shinku Tatsumaki, translated meaning vacuum or true void tornado, whirlwind leg beast. It is a super version of the normal Tatsumaki Sepankuyaku, Bofu Tatsumaki, which translated means rave wind tornado whirlwind leg. This is one of Ryu's mighty combos in Super Gem Fighter Minime, Shin Tatsumaki, which translated means True Tornado Whirlwind Leg. It is the upgraded version of the Shinku Satsumaki Sepankyaku. The move now takes the form of a destructive maelstrom that decimates everything. Used by Street Fighter's main antagonist, the Shibu Jinraikyaku, also known as Lightning Speed Leg. This is one of Ken's special attacks. Kusuryu Repa is a combination of both his Shoryuken and Satsumaki variations. Gureng Sepunkiaku, also known as Crimson Lotus Whirlwind Leg. This is Ken's second Ultra Combo in Super Street Fighter 4. Guren Ejinkiaku, also known as Crimson Lotus Flame Swift Leg. This is Ken's critical art in Street Fighter 5. The Satsumi Sankuryaku, also known as Hurricane Scythe Kick is Akuma's version of the Satsumi Senpu Kyaku. Though his movement is similar to Ryo and Ken, in some games, lightning may be created by his feet during his Satsumaki. Like most of his techniques, it is much stronger and faster than Ryo and Ken's. It can hit multiple times and is considerably faster and somewhat harder to control than Ryo and Ken's. It can combo well into his other moves, and it can be used in the air. Dan uses a parody of Ryo, Sasaki's Hien Shibu Kyaku, also known as Flying Swallow Hurricane Leg, as his version of the Satsumi called Danku Kyaku, Severing Air Leg. He leaps in the air and performs up to three aerial kicks consecutively, depending on the kick button pressed. The Shunpu Kyaku, also known as Spring Breeze Leg, also known as Trolling Gale Kick, is Sakura's own version of Ryu and Ken's own Satsumi Sepunkyaku. Instead of floating in the air, Sakura's variation allows her to uprise and then float back down while spinning. Shan Matsuda is another fighter that also uses a variant of this move, called Tornado. It looks similar to Ryu and Ken's Satsumaki Sepunkyaku, but uses both legs, thus making it more similar to Dan's version and also resembling Ryu's Satsumaki Sepunkyaku. The Satsumaki Gorasen, which translated means the Tornado Strong Spiral, is Goken's version of the Satsumaki, based on Akuma's Misatsu Gorasen Super Art from Street Fighter III Third Strike. However, instead of spinning in place or moving across the screen, 
The Satsumaki Gorasen moves upwards, bringing the opponent with it. Once Goken reaches the top of the screen, he finishes with a powerful final kick, which sends the opponent flying across the screen, while Goken slowly descends to earth. This attack can be executed in mid-air, in which it becomes the Satsumaki Sepungyaku. The Satsumaki is one of the holy trinity of moves, in which the Street Fighter franchise is known for, next to the Hadouken and the Shoryuken. Its signature style is an inspiration to the fighting game genre, and it will be for many years to come. The Hadouken, or Hadouken, which translated into English means Wave Motion Fist, or Fist of Surge, is a special attack from the Capcom Street Fighter fighting games. It is often associated with a fireball, due to the resemblance of fire when the wave motion fist is applied. This special attack is achieved by the character thrusting their palms forward, sending a surge of spit energy or ki towards the opponent, which is also known as the ki blast. In Japan, ki is the energy of everything that is in you and around you. It is the energy that moves the visible and the invisible. In Street Fighter, characters that use the Hadouken are Ryu and Ken, since the first Street Fighter, later joined by Sakura, Goken, and Akuma, which is also known as Guki in Japan. The original elements of the Hadouken were designed and created by Akira Nishitani and Akira Yasu. The animation of Ryu and Ken displaying the Hadouken was made by Sohei Okano, which was responsible for creating the Street Fighter logo. The Hadouken inspiration is credited to the energy attack called Hadoho, which means wave motion gun, made famous by the 1970s anime Space Battleship Yamato. Game designer Takashi Nishiyama found a great inspiration in this anime. It's safe to say that the Capcom team could have found inspiration in Dragon Ball Z's Kamehameha attack, which was made famous by the series' main character Goku. After all, we can see in Akira Yasuda's workplace, Dragon Ball figurines. The original Kamehameha was illustrated in 1986, where the Master Roshi manga was released, only a year before the Street Fighter came out in 1987. Most fighting games of the sprite-based era use at least some characters with projectile or special moves. And while the actual type of projectile launch varies from game to game and character to character, the execution and behavior of these attacks are often rather similar to the Hadouken. It is normally performed by the player moving the joystick or D-pad a quarter circle forward towards the opponent from the down position, then pressing a punch button. So for example, a character facing to the right would execute the move by pressing down, middle right, and right down, down forward, forward and then punch in a smooth motion. Although the execution has been always the same, the design, speed, damage, and other attributes of the technique vary in different games. The Hadouken can usually be performed in three different degrees, depending on which type punch is used. These will affect its speed, damage caused on impact, amount of recovery frames, and sometimes its range. The Hadouken itself has many variations, depending on the character in question, that the move is associated with. For example, both Ryu and Akuma use a fire-based variant of the move called Shakunetsu Hadouken, or Blazing Surge Fist, which briefly engulfs its target in flames. Later, titles in the series that use super combo moves ramp up the power of the Hadouken, evolving it into the Shinku Hadouken, Vacuum Surge Fist, this takes one of two forms, depending on the game. An outsized fireball, or a blast of constant energy. Street Fighter 3 introduced the Denjing Hadouken, an unblockable, electrified version, which could be stored by holding down the punch key for timing purposes. Introduced in the Capcom vs SNK series, Ryu uses a more powerful version called the Metsu Hadouken which acts similar to the Denjing Hadouken, being unblockable and stunning the opponent. Street Fighter IV brought back the Metsu Hadouken, though it instead acts simply like a more powerful variant of the Shinku Hadouken. The latest entry in the series, Street Fighter V, 
brought back the Denjing Haruken, which can be performed by performing the Shinko Haruken while in Ryu's V Trigger mode. An unofficial Rainbow Edition of the Street Fighter 2 gave the Haruken abilities to all characters, possibly influencing later official games. Since then, many others in the Street Fighter series have been given similar moves but have their own names for it. For example, Kaidi and Alan Snyder both have such a move, the latter calling it Fire Force. Thalzum spits fire called Yoga Fire, and Chun Li eventually gained a projectile move she calls the Kikwen, also known as the Chi Gong Fist. In Street Fighter 3, Shan has no routine Hadouken, but can employ a similar super move named the Hadou Burst. Dan Hibiki utilizes a single handed projectile called the Gadouken, also known as Self Taught Fist, which has barely any range of power. Ace can also use the Hadouken in Street Fighter EX3 once the third set of usable arts is unlocked in the character edit mode. Other special moves derived from the Hadouken include the Soul Fist of Morrigan in the Darkstalker series. The Hadouken has been seen several times in the Capcom's Mega Man X platform game series. It was a hidden easter egg ability in the first game Mega Man X, and its remake Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. In Mega Man X4, Magma Dragoon uses the move as well. It was also available to the player in the Mega Man Extreme games. The Tails Clan, a group of secret bosses in Mega Man X Command Mission, uses a move called Annihilator Hadouken. There are also Hadouken emotes in the massive multiplayer role-playing video game Monster Hunter World. The Hadouken term is very popular in our gaming lives and our modern-day pop culture. This special attack is what made the Street Fighter franchise have the outstanding success it has had over the years. Arguably, the most known fighting chan in any fighting game since the late 80s, the Hadouken will forever be a Street Fighter's mantra. We have talked about the origins of the Hadouken and the meaning of the word Hadouken. We have introduced the creators and designers of the Wave Motion Fist. We also shared the different types of Hadoukens the Street Fighter characters who made the Hadouken famous, the inspiration and cameos for other video games franchises. Hadouken will definitely last for generations to come, for its creation has transcended from Street Fighter fans all the way to pop culture references. So what did you like about this episode? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. By the way, if you would like to donate, or simply get us a coffee. We would like to inform you that sure you can at ko-fi.com slash streetfighterverse. We are grateful for every single one of you. You guys make this possible. And for that, we thank you. Our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.